Hey guys, Penguins Recordings here, and today I'm going to be doing another hardware showcase, this time with a HP DV3500 laptop model, running Ubuntu 13.04. Now this is an old laptop, this is a HP model from 2008, I purchased in 2009. The system specs are relatively low, so this can be considered a low-end system. You can see on the right here, and on the left here, that it has been serviced once before due to overheating. It is a DV3500 model. And previously, it had Windows Vista on it. So if we open it up, it has a 13.3 inch screen, if I'm not wrong about that spec. It also has a webcam at the top. Here we have the touch sensitive buttons for volume, wireless and mic and all that. On the bottom right we also have a thumbprint recognizer which does not work in Ubuntu because the developers do not support it. So let's boot it up so you can see how long it takes. This is running Ubuntu 13.04 32-bit fresh install. There will be two parts to this video. The first part will be the open source driver and then the second part will be the closed source NVIDIA 313 drivers. So you get to see open versus closed source drivers on this system. This is all old hardware, DDR2 memory, and a old 350GB hard drive if I'm not wrong. So it's finished booting up. Alright, so here is the system information from Ubuntu itself. So you can see it's 13.04. Uh, 4 gigs of RAM, Intel Core 2 Duo running at 2 gigahertz, Gallium 0.4 drivers. Just to confirm, under System Monitor, under Resources, there are only two cores. And nicely, it only runs at 100%. So the first open source test that we're going to be trying is Minecraft. I have it here in Documents. Now I'm going to be opening it with OpenJDK 7 which is available in the Ubuntu Software Center. Remember this is open source drivers, the Gallium 3D drivers with MESA 9.0.2. Okay, it takes a couple of seconds to start up. Logging in. I have already created a world previously to this, so you don't have to waste time seeing me try to load up a world. Alright, so under options, these are the settings that I have it at. Fancy, distance normal, GUI scales auto. Settings are okay. Full screen is off, just to take note. Alright, so I make sure to disable VSync. It is unable to go into full screen. If you see here, it will still stay like this. I think this is a bug in Ubuntu 13.04, so we'll keep it off. Single player. Already have this world set up. Play selected world. So you can see that it's starting up, loading. Alright, let's get into controlling it. Slightly sluggish.
Watch the game. Alright, moving on to the next test, we'll be trying out Bastion, which is a 2D game but still quite heavy on resources. I'll be using a 360 controller to test this game out. Remember that this is on the open source drivers. Alright, so the game does start up okay. So I click start on the Xbox controller. The controller is recognized. So under options, under oops, under display, set onto full screen, and VSync is on. Resolution is 1280 by 800. I'm going to use the no sweat mode because it's just a, a short test. So far, so good. Store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Can't move him yet. Oops. He gets up. All right. Sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. So it's quite laggy, this is using the open source drivers. The lag is significant enough to be noticed, but so far it's okay for playing. So if for, for whatever reason you cannot get the proprietary drivers, then this is playable right now with the open source ones. I'll be quite laggy. The lag is consistent. So I pick up the weapon. You can see the lag there. With a lag like this, I assume it's less than 20 frames per second. Alright, so on to the next test. Counter-Strike Source. Still open source drivers. Alright, I skipped the initial loading, took quite a while. So under settings, it's set to 1280 by 800 native resolution. Full screen. Here are the settings, you can pause if you want to see them. Alright, let's get to the match. I'm going to use CS Office, 4 bots on easy. Let's start the game. Okay, skip most of the loading there. Alright, so we're in the game with the open source drivers and you can see the frames per second below. It's averaging 10 frames per second, which is pretty bad. So, wait, I've got to choose uh, M. That's right, okay. Auto select, auto select again. Yeah, even, even the mouse pointer is lagging in this. There's a good one, two second delay between when I click the button when it responds. So the frame per second are very low with the open source drivers. So if you're really hard pressed, you have no internet but you really want to play the game, so you if you were to do a fresh install of Ubuntu, you would be able to play it like I am now, but it would just be very laggy. You could reduce the resolution and that would probably increase the performance of the game significantly. Remember that I'm playing this at 1280 by 800. Alright, so this should be pretty much good enough for the open C CS source test. So now we're going to do the first Counter-Strike test. 
under options you can see the settings here you can pause the screen if you want I do disable vsync All right, so I skipped putting in the codes, basically net graph to show the frames per second at the below of the screen. You can see it's averaging about 30, 30 frames per second right now at the main menu. All right. All right, so once we're in the game, it averages about 20 frames per second, anywhere from 15 to 20 frames per second. This is without other players, so maybe with other players, it would, the frames per second would drop quite a bit. Alright, hopefully this gives you enough of a view on what it plays like with the open source drivers. Alright, so under Steam system information, you can pause the video here if you would like to see the information. This is with the open source drivers. Just to confirm, 32-bit running on Gallium 0.4. Mesa 9.0.2. And 4 gigabytes of DDR2 memory. Alright, so now we're going to go on to the closed source test. Alright, the same as before, the first test will be Minecraft with OpenJDK 7. This time with the 3.13 NVIDIA drivers installed through Ubuntu's repositories. Okay, it does that flickering thing just like before as well. So far, so good. Definitely feels a bit smoother. So under options, video settings, you can pause the video here if you'd like to see. The full screen still has the same issue as with the open source drivers. It will not go to full screen. I don't know why. So we leave full, full screen off. Same settings as the open source drivers. You can pause the video here if you'd like to see. So it's Get that over with. Go to single player, new world, same world as before. Okay, so the world is loading up. All right, let's move around. Oh, okay, I can already feel the difference, significant difference. The response time is a lot faster. I definitely say this is above 25 frames per second can feel it all right with my, just minecraft alone the 313 drivers are superior to the gallium drivers all right on to the next test bastion with the th xbox 360 controller again this time with the 313 drivers. Okay, no stuttering so far. Okay, we can start. Alright, under options. Oops. Okay. So the resolution is the same as before, 1280 by 800. Full screen is on. I will disable vertical sync to see if... I should have done this in the first one. I apologize that I didn't do that. For the story, no sweat mode. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion. All right. Definitely smoother than the open source drivers, but it does seem.
seem to have momentary lag here and there. Overall, it's definitely smoother. Definitely much smoother than the open source drivers. Not greatly, though. You can still see the selector here and there. Alright, this is definitely much more playable. Alright, so on to the next test. Okay, Counter-Strike Source test once again, but this time with the 313 NVIDIA drivers. Let's see how much frames we get per second this time. The open source was only averaging 10, so let's see what we get with this one. Takes a while to load. Okay, there we go. So under options, same settings as before. 1280 by 800. Full screen mode. Same settings as before as well. You can pause the screen here if you'd like to be sure. I apologize for the screen, the capture quality. Alright, same map as before, same AI for AI. Okay, skip the loading part, it takes quite a bit. Alright, instantly when we're in the game, you can see that the frames have shot up to 30 frames per second now, solid. I'm just making sure that I have VSync disabled. Alright, I do have VSync disabled as before. So, frames per second are 30. Let's get into the game. Auto assign, auto assign again. Still 30 frames per second. Definitely much smoother. That 20 frames per second additional makes a difference. So, it does drop down to about 25 frames per second when I do a lot of shooting. Once again, the NVIDIA proprietary drivers win over the open source drivers in terms of performance. So here we go to the last test, first Counter-Strike, this time on the NVIDIA 313 drivers. Same settings as before. Same map as before. Alright, so we're averaging about 30 frames here as well. So the increase in this one is not too much. Almost 40 frames per second. Definitely smoother, much smoother with this. Once again, the proprietary drivers win over the open source ones. Alright, so some settings. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was informational for you. So the conclusion I come to is that the 313 NVIDIA drivers are much superior to the open source Gallium 3D drivers at the moment. If you can, do use the NVIDIA 313 drivers. But if you can't, the open source will be sufficient for your needs. Once again, thanks for watching guys. And if you liked the video, I hope you can thumbs it up, help me out a bit. And until next time.